let's talk briefly about duplicate transactions. This is something that technically should not happen, but does happen every once in a while, and I want you to be prepared. I think it's something to do just with the electronic linking, and maybe there was a delay, and then when it comes back on, it pulls in transactions it already did. Like I said, this does not happen too often at all, but you need to know how to deal with it if it happens in your records. So here I'm on the banking tab, I'm under credit card, and you'll notice that down here, every transaction that has come in for review is a duplicate. We do not want that. So we're gonna just select our duplicates. And I could go on and on. I could go much, much, much further down this page. Um, oh, but see, I have to be careful because it looks like this one is not a duplicate. So that's the thing. You have to be really careful because for whatever reason, this one is not a duplicate, um, but all these other ones are. So let's see. Let me double check. That's a duplicate. That's a duplicate. And that's a duplicate. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do exclude transactions, okay? That's the first step, and then those three came over here to the exclude transactions, and I had excluded a few other things, um, transactions that were before our start date, that's what that is down here. Now, the thing with duplicate transactions is that often they will come back to haunt you. Why, I don't know, but they will. So, it always seems to be in the bank rec process that the duplicates come back to haunt you. So, I recommend if you know that those are duplicates, you've got good transactions in the for review tab, and you have excluded them, which is right, but sometimes that's not enough. So, I would recommend going ahead and deleting them. It's going to give you this big warning. Are you sure? Are you sure? But we know those are duplicates. We're never going to need them. We have the transactions we need. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and click yes. Um, PayPal, same thing that can happen over here in PayPal. That's excluded. I need the for review tab. We've got a couple right off the bat that are duplicate. Doesn't matter which one I'm deleting, they're exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. We'll first exclude, and then I can come over to exclude, find those two, and hit delete. Are you sure, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, so another way, too, that you might be able to notice some of the duplicate transactions is in your register. If you don't see them in the feed, um, it's something you could notice over here in the register as well. Um, and you can click on transactions and delete them from this end as well. Okay, that's all. I just wanted you to be aware of that strange uh, occurrence, but it doesn't happen often. But if it does, now you know how to deal with it.